So once we have um, all of the different uh, jobs and, and workflows that we want to create within the Clover DX designer, and we've promoted those up to the server, we're going to apply some automations in the form of schedules and event listeners, as we just saw. Once we have those automations in play, then we can start thinking about how we want to monitor those and also what kind of views we want to um, what we, we want to create. <clears throat> so it could be that we want to align these to particular business processes or regions or teams. It could be any any combination of those. But in any case, I've created a monitor to kind of demonstrate that here, consisting of a number of different automations, one of which um, is focused on that data quality process that we looked at a second ago. So this kind of brings together a number of different individual jobs to monitor them uh, in unison uh, and thereby combine them as a business process so that we can get a full view uh, across our organization of the different data processing uh, that is happening. And if anything were to fail, then we can quickly see that a business process uh, is not up to scratch and take remedial action to sort that out. So that's then how we can automate uh, monitoring as well. <clears throat> 